Hi guys. It is a lovely evening here in the end times in paradise in West Bumblefuck, New Mexico. And the little dog hanging out watching the sunset, having a cold apple cider here on this lovely Monday, June 12th, 2017. So uh, this morning I had my economic meltdown roundup rant and I was going to lead off with this story but for one thing my computer ate the article but more importantly I think this article it just deserves its own little rantlet because it, it, it just is so perfectly illustrative is that the word I'm looking for of, of just everything that is wrong with the global industrial economy. It's just a perfect microcosm about, it's just an illustration uh, of how these goddamn planet-eating, lying sacks of shit, how they are, <coughs> they're just, uh, well, everything I just said, that they're planet-eating, lying sacks of shit, how they just infest the government, the, these government regulatory agencies that are supposed to be regulating them, you, you know. Uh, and there's no better company to illustrate everything that uh, I talk about here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe than Monsanto Incorporated. Monsanto, good. God Almighty, don't, uh, I mean, where to begin? Uh, but this article is pertaining to uh, Roundup, glyphosate, and whether or not uh, Roundup is a human carcinogen. I did, a, a big part of my rant this morning was trying to isolate which one, uh, you know, picking this little uh, ingredient from the toxic stew versus this one, it, it, you know, it's a joke. But uh, it, when you're looking for prime suspects, glyphosate, the, uh, you know, the main chemical in the herbicide Roundup is, is certainly a major contender. And uh, so there's been this big debate going on for for how many years whether or not glyphosate causes cancer. Well, I'm one of these wackos, these eco-Nazi conspiracy wackos who just, my intuition tells me that uh, glyphosate causes cancer. Uh, I'm not an oncologist. Uh, I'm just uh, an, uh, someone with a goddamn brain who doesn't trust these lying sacks of shit as far as I can throw them. And uh, so anyway, I guess there's hundreds of people, uh, hundreds, whatever that means. I've, I've heard as many as 600 people uh, with cancer claiming that glyphosate was what uh, gave them cancer. And so while this trial, the trial isn't going to be till December, but part of this evidence gathering of this trial, uh, this group EcoWatch, this environmental journalism group, EcoWatch is bringing us up to date about what is going on in this in this trial with all of these cancer victims suing these lion sack of shit motherfuckers. And so I'm going to put the link to this article and I encourage you to read it yourself, but if you just want to sit around and listen to some uh, eco-Nazi sitting in a cancer-causing chair getting cancer from a... Uh, a bottle of uh, apple cider, you're welcome to. Okay. 34 years later, Monsanto's mysterious mouse tumor study 
resurfaces. Call it the case of the mysterious mouse tumor. It's been 34 years since Monsanto pres presented U.S. regulators. U.S. regulators. With a seemingly routine study analyzing the effects the company's best-selling herbicide might have on rodents. Now that study is once again under the microscope emerging as a potentially pivotal piece of evidence in litigation brought by hundreds of people who claim Monsanto's weed killer gave them cancer. This week, tissue slides from long-dead mice in that long-ago research study are being scrutinized by fresh eyes as an expert pathologist employed by lawyers for the cancer victims look for evidence their lawyers hope will help prove a cover-up of the dangers of the weed killer glyphosate. Glyphosate, the active ingredient in Monsanto's Roundup, is the most widely used herbicide in the world and is applied broadly in the production of more than 100 food crops, including wheat, corn, and soil, as well as on residential lawns, golf courses, and schoolyards. Residues have been detected in food and human urine, and many scientists around the world have warned that exposure through diet as well as through application can lead to health problems. The World Health Organization declared glyphosate a, a probable human carcinogen in 2015 based on a review of the scientific literature triggering the wave of lawsuits against Monsanto. And now what the expert finds or does not find is expected to be key evidence in hearings slated for December 11th um, by this federal judge in San Francisco. Uh, before I dive into this story, I just, I just want to do a little aside here. For, uh, for anybody not aware of this, I've, I've mentioned this story a couple of times on, on my economic meltdown around our planet before. You know, Barack Obama, one of the last things that limp dick, uh, little pawn of Monsanto and every other one of these goddamn global corporations, on his way out of office, he made the tiniest little effort to cement his environmental legacy to, uh, to actually, uh, I, I'm not going to get, this is a whole side story, so I need to make this quick, but to, to, to pull the reins in a tiny bit on, uh, on this shit. I mean, tiny little baby steps going up against Monsanto, so it was no surprise that when Donald Trump uh, was elected president and appointed Scott Pruitt to the EPA, one of the very first, it might have been the very first, certainly one of the very first actions that Scott Pruitt took under Donald Trump's EPA was to rescind, rescind the Obama uh, measure to crack down on glyphosate, uh, like right before, like two days before it was to take effect, uh, Donald Trump very quietly went in there kissing Monsanto's ass and uh, calling off uh, the EPA. Uh, so glyphosate is uh, in, in Monsanto. Uh, are just once again all over the EPA. But anyway, I'm getting off track. Let's get back to this story. That was just some backstory. Let's go back. Let's rewind to what happened 34 years ago in 1983. 
nineteen uh, uh, eighty three. So today, Monsanto, as well as many other scientists and regulatory bodies, have defended glyphosate safety. They say research showing a cancer connection is flawed and hundreds of studies support its safety. And yet, if you rewind to July 1983, you will find this study titled, quote, A Chronic Feeding Study of Glyphosate in Mice. Following the document trail that surrounds the study offers an illuminating look at how science is not always clear-cut and the links that Monsanto has had to go to in order to convince regulators to accept their scientific interpretations that support their company's products. Okay. So the two-year study ran from 1980 to 1982 and involved 400 mice divided into, into groups of 50 males and 50 females that were administered three different doses of the weed killer or received no glyphosate at all for observations as a control group. The study was conducted for Monsanto to submit to regulators, but Unfortunately for Monsanto, some mice exposed to glyphosate developed tumors at statistically significant rates with no tumors at all in the non-dosed mice. This was a February 1984 memo from EPA toxicologist William Dykstra stated the findings definitively, quote, review of the mouse oncogenesis, onco, the, the cancer study, God damn it, review of the mouse tumor study indicates that glyphosate is oncogenic producing renal tubal abdomenas, a rare tumor, in a dose-related manner. Researchers found these increased incidence of the kidney tumors in mice exposed to glyphosate worrisome because while the tumors are generally benign, they have the potential to become malignant and even in non-cancerous stages, they have potential to be harmful to other organs. Monsanto, however, discounted the findings, arguing the tumors in, in the mice that ate glyphosate were, quote, unrelated to treatment and showing false positives. Um, blah, blah, blah. But, but EPA toxicology experts were unconvinced. Uh, so this is EPA uh, statistician Herbert Lacayo uh, in February 1985 uh, at, disagreed with Monsanto's position, writing, quote, a prudent person would reject the Monsanto assumption that glyphosate has no effect on kidney tumor production. Glyphosate is suspect. Monsanto's argument is unacceptable. And eight members of the EPA's toxicology branch were worried enough by the kidney tumors in the mice that they signed a consensus review of glyphosate in 1985 that th stating they were classifying glyphosate as a category C oncogen, a substance possibly carcinogenic to humans. This was 1985. Okay, 1985, eight members of EPA's toxicology branch 
are we're, called, we're saying the same thing that back in 1985 they knew goddamn well that finding did not sit well with Monsanto and the company worked to reverse the kidney tumor concerns um, and so they hired uh, They arranged for Dr. Marvin Kushner, a noted pathologist, to review the kidney tissue slides. Kushner had not even accessed the slides, uh, but Monsanto applied in its memo that a favorable outcome was assured. Notably, the... Uh, the guy from Monsanto who was who was involved in this, this fellow Levinskus, uh, who who died in 2005, was also involved in the 1970s to downplay damaging findings from a study that found rats exposed to Monsanto's P PCBs developed tumors. You know. I think a lot of people are unaware of the fact that before uh, this roundup and all of this shit came along, Monsanto was a major player in the PCB uh, fiasco uh, a few decades ago that people have forgotten about uh, when they were lying out their fucking asses uh, about the dangers of PCB, how they fought it was the same story that's going on with Roundup today as that already we've been through this fucking movie with these sons of bitches. And voila, Kushner's subsequent re-examination did, as Monsanto stated it would d determine the tumors were not due to glyphosate. Looking over slides of the mouse tissue from the 1983 study, and so he, 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 he wasn't directly involved in the study. This was years later. He reviewed the slides, and he, after he was hired by Monsanto to discredit uh, the EPA's own conclusions, Kushner identified one small kidney tumor in the, con in the control group of the mice. Uh, this was a mouse that had not received glyphosate. No one had, noted this, had noticed this tumor in the original report. Wow. But the new finding was highly significant because it provided a scientific basis for a conclusion that the tumors seen in the mice exposed to glyphosate were not noteworthy after all. So uh, I, I, I'm sure you have the brains to follow this. So uh, a, a bunch of mice who ate the, the glyphosate got kidney tumors. Not one mouse from the control group was found. Years later, the, this guy working for Monsanto claims he found one mouse in, in the control group that had one little tumor. So because that mouse, uh, if you believe the guy, and of course I don't, uh, he's a lying sack of shit. That's just my opinion. Uh, whether or not he found it. So he's claiming, well, Monsanto's claiming because this one mouse in the control group had this little tumor, you have to throw out the results of all of the mice in, in the, you know, who ate the glyphosate. Uh, their tumors mean nothing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and... This is a long, involved article, guys. I'm gonna, I'm again. I'm putting the link on it, uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to hit all this. I mean, to to really understand this, it takes a little bit of work. 
So anyway, so Monsanto countered, you need to throw it to telling the EPA that their studies were, were a bunch of shit. The EPA's scientists still did not agree, however. Uh, an EPA pathologist wrote uh, in a memo that additional examination of the tissue slides did not definitively reveal a tumor in the control group. Still, the reports by the uh, pathologists brought into the debate by Monsanto helped push the EPA to launch a re-examination of the research. So this is going on, uh, going on and on and on. Uh, so by a year later, things were getting, you know, into a gray area. Um, you know, so what do you do here? You, you see, you see how this is going. And, and, and this is where this can be repeated over and over and over. And then they get into the semantics uh, of what is unusual, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the, the, the panel, so by 1986, uh, the, the, the EPA was now calling the findings equivocal, but they said there still may be reason for concern and noted that the tumor incidence is seen in the mice given glyphosate were unusual. So at this point, this is the advisory panel to the EPA uh, suggested these studies be repeated to, you know, since there was some question, since they were equivocal, and, uh, and Monsanto, no shit Sherlock, counterbacked, quote, there is no relevant scientific or regulatory justification for repeating the glyphosate mouse oncogenic study. And uh, it, it never mentions an area, of course, who is president in this is Ronald Reagan. Uh, anyway, so this, this, this drags on for years uh, for years. So now let's move up uh, to November of 1988. We're now six years, six years beyond this original equivocal study where we uh, <clears throat> discussions between Monsanto and the EPA dragged on uh, in November 1988, uh, to discuss the agency's request for a second mouse study and Monsanto's reluctance to do so, members of the EPA's toxicology branch continued to express doubts about the validity of Monsanto's data. But by June of 1989, now we have Daddy Bush in uh, in office, EPA officials conceded, stating that they would drop the requirement for the repeated mouse study. Now, that ain't even That's well, I mean, I actually uh, should hit this button. Well, shit, shit. So they 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 reconvene yet again on in nineteen. 91, uh, you know, they're still saying, you know, crying foul. Uh, but their bottom line under Daddy Bush's EPA uh, concluded that the herbicide should be classified far more lightly than the initial 1985 classification or even the 1986 classification. And this time, the EPA scientists dubbed the herbicide 
a group E chemical, a classification that meant, quote, evidence of non carcinogenesis. It's not that it, it actually shows evidence that it is not, does not cause cancer for, hu uh, for humans. And at that point, at least two members of the EPA committee refused to sign the bullshit report stating that they did not concur with the findings. Uh, and so, in this kind of like, in, in a memo explaining the decision, the EPA offered a caveat they wrote that this new classification, quote, should not be interpreted as a definitive conclusion that the agent will not be a carcinogen under any circumstances. How about that for a government doublespeak called uh, covering their ass? Uh, okay, and uh, so let's see, indeed many other animal studies have similarly had questionable results, including in 1981 rat study that showed an increase in tumors in the testes of male rats and possible thyroid tumors and female rats exposed to glyphosate. Here is a 1990 study showing pancreatic tumors in rats exposed uh, to glyphosate, but no studies have swayed the EPA from its backing of glyphosate safety. Um, so anyway, so let's get up, uh, we're getting closer to, so here we are, 34 fucking years later. Jesus. Uh, let's hear from Christopher Portier. Uh, let's see, he is from some, some agency with a name this long, part of the CDC, believes the evaluations applied to glyphosate data by regulars are, quote, scientifically flawed and putting public health at risk. Close, quote, the data in these studies strongly supports the ability of glyphosate to cause cancer in humans and animals. There is no reason to believe that all of these positive studies arose simply by chance, Portier said. Uh, and so now they are uh, going into this big lawsuit, roughly 60 combined lawsuits, uh, these class action lawsuits. Monsanto has confirmed that roughly 900 uh, additional plaintiffs have cases pending, all making similar claims that Monsanto manipulated the science, regulators, and the public in ways that hid or minimized the danger posed by its herbicide. So anyway, uh, that's where we are. Uh, six months exactly for, uh, from yesterday, July, August, September, no, five months. So in five months, five more months, uh, this is going to trial, and, and I don't even, I, I can't even imagine how much Monsanto is going, how many millions and millions, hell, if not billions of dollars, Monsanto is going to be pouring into this trial. These lying sacks of shit.
I anyway, guys, uh, for the two or three of you still with me, wondering why I gave this one story so much, uh, so much of my time, it's just, it, it's just so classic. It, it, it's, it, you know, it, it has all the ingredients uh, of, 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 of how the, these lying sack of shit, uh, global multi-billion dollar corporations, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck whether uh, their products give you cancer, whether they uh, destroy monarch butterflies off the face of the planet, whether they're putting these giant dead zones down there in the Gulf of Mexico. And the goddamn the EPA, Jesus, and with Scott Pruitt and Donald Trump, uh, I would like to see a mouse study uh, from 2017. They would probably say that uh, glyphosate cures cancer is, is what that study would show with, with Scott uh, Pruitt uh, and, and Donald Trump. But anyway, guys, the bottom line is, is we're so fucked. Uh, these goddamn, uh, you know, these big ag corporations, well, it's not just big ag, it's every goddamn corporation in the planet, and, and they're, and they're winning. Uh, we'll see how it plays out, but I'm going to wrap up this rant, and, uh, get back and enjoy the rest of my cider before I die of cancer. Bye, guys.